Hallo iedereen en welkom terug naar Battlebots Reborn in de aflevering van vandaag opnieuw een langs titel winnende robots van Team Inertia Labs en Team Wayagi. What? You don't understand Dutch? Well, that's not my problem, is it? Well, if you could understand the woman, she said we're going to be reviewing former champions, one from Team Inertia Labs and one from Team Wayahi. First up, we're going to review the former super heavyweight champion from Team Flipbots that always seemed to break for no apparent reason and stop working in the middle of fights. I'm sorry, Team Inertia Labs, but y you know what I meant. We're going to review Toro. If you don't know who Toro is, then you did not watch BattleBots, because he was basically one of the best flipping bots in the game. He kicked the shit out of fear in, like, what, five seconds? He destroyed three bots in two seconds in one of the Rumbles, and I think he's the only flipper I've ever seen actually take off wheels from another bot. Like, Little Blue Engine, you're a piece of shit. How do you lose not one but two wheels to a flip bot? Okay, so this doesn't look too bad compared to what Toro was. Obviously, I couldn't find something thick enough to put as a flipper for just one, so I had to make two identical flippers, as you can see. And besides not having horns, this is, I'd say it's accurate. One reason Toro was so successful is because it was a very big bot. Alex and Reason did a very good job of packing a lot into such a big body and only getting 220 pounds out of it. This bot, however, is very, very small compared to everyone else. And as what usually happens to all flippers on this game and what we've seen from Complete Control who can't even lift bots, Toro can't flip at all. Oh, wait, maybe I can flip. My bad. Tag team, fuck you. It's also kind of hard to do anything when Emergency is constantly trying to penetrate your ass. All right, line it up and flip. It's also kind of hard to flip robots when the strength of your flipper is weaker than the excuse that Ricky Williams gave for when he failed his drug test. Alright, let's see how King of the Hill goes. What? What the hell? Why is that flipper... Okay, whatever. I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. Oh my god, what the fuck? Wait, get under him? There we go. It finally looks like a normal Toro flip. And this wouldn't be classic Toro if you didn't drive back to where you started once the fight was over. And didn't try to kick the robot's ass after the fight was completely won. You hear that, Tony Bucanyani? You hear that, Ray Billings? Don't be a dick! That's it, take it! Take it! Take it like a whore! Almost! Almost! Come on! There we go! Hey, this looks kind of familiar. And back to the box we go. Shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep, it's okay. It won't last much longer, go to sleep. There you go. There you go. So how realistic was this Toro compared to his real life self? Actually, I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, it looked pretty similar, and... I did complain about the flipper a bit, but it was able to do a little bit once he actually got under a bot and got a little momentum going. It won a few fights, it lost a few fights, it... I think it was accurate, I'm gonna give it an A, I was actually kind of happy with it. Next up, the only bot that Terry Eward and his sons could make that was actually good and won something, it's Sonoayachi in his original format. Sonoayachi is best known for basically destroying the whole heavyweight division in his rookie season in season 3. His average knockout time was a minute 25, and it wasn't any shorter because Mechavor just wouldn't die until, you know, he hit a crappy little spike and then just decided to fuck off. He also had a very famous run in Season 4 that went just about like this. And that was it. Well, this looks nothing close to the real bot. Wait, are those supposed to be feet? Don't tell me that works. There's no way. Ah, it's alive! Kill it! Kill it! So obviously this is not something normal you would try in this game, but I told you it was going to be realistic. It looks like it's walking normally, just like the bot did in Season 3. It's just kind of slow. Okay, we need to get away from the giant hammer. This is just not going to end well. WHEELS! MORE WHEELS! Okay, this is not what I had in mind. Can we, can we stop this, please? Well, I survived that fight. Now it's- oh my god, I am fucked in the butt. Oi, oi, could you not? Did you just stop? This is considered rape in some countries. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. I, I can't- I can't get out. I can't get out! Move! No, I'm getting- hey, come on, I'm getting counted out. I'm moving! Judges, please! Go fuck yourself! Oh great, I'm the robot that can't get up the goddamn ramp. Oh, we're finally close! No, 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 I poker, come on, I wanna join! Alright, Sonoyachi, it's review time. How do you think you were? Well, I don't really care how you think, because you were shit. You didn't really look the same, but besides the fact that you walked, which is the most realistic thing, I mean, what did you really do? You got tossed around like a used condom by emergency on multiple occasions, and, and occasionally you got to take off parts against shitbots like Snowjob and Sentinel. So yeah, 
I'm giving you a D for the dick that you suck. Go fix yourself. Thank you for watching, guys, and before I go, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has watched these videos so far, and also to anyone that has suggested robots for me to make. I want you to know that I have seen all of your suggestions, and I will attempt every single one of them. Thanks again for all your suggestions and for your views, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Hey, you. Do you have a favorite BattleBot that you would like to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the BattleBot's name below. Who needs to fight when you can dance to smooth jazz? Oh. Wheels. Oh, oh, you think you can take off my wheels, huh? I'm the one that takes off the wheels here, bitch.